Search for missing college student Caleb Harris now enters its fourth week, and a $25,000 reward is now being offered for any information leading to where he could be. Police say the 21-year-old Texas A&M Corpus Christi student disappeared in the early morning hours of March 4th. Caleb's parents say he took his roommate's dog out for a walk, put the dog back into the apartment, and at about 2.45 in the morning ordered Uber Eats. The food was delivered and placed on the doorstep, but Caleb never picked it up. Joining me now to give us the latest update in the search is Caleb's dad, Randy Harris. Uh, Randy, thanks once again for joining me. I'm so sorry we're still having this conversation because it means Caleb isn't back home yet. Any weekend leads or updates you're able to share? Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, we're just working diligently uh, with the authorities and, and search groups and family and friends and uh, today we'll be doing um, a lot of additional just door knocking and uh, we've got uh, friends that have donated uh, their uh, helicopters. So I'm going to be up in a helicopter today doing some some aerial searches, hopefully some areas that we haven't been able to get to with, you know, four by fours or ATVs and, and boats. Um, not a whole lot of direction just yet. We're still trying to find true north and uh, uh, we're just hoping today we'll get some some breaks. Yeah, and I know it's all hands on deck and that police have recently expanded their search into your hometown, New Braunfels, San Antonio. Uh, but you, you're saying you don't even know enough to at least have an area of focus nearby land or even waterways? Not right. Not right now. I mean, okay. I, we're, we're chasing every every single lead that comes in. Um, of course, we, we're offering the reward now, so that's hopefully beginning to bring in some some leads that we can at least you know, go go look for. That's what we're that's our, what we're hoping. I also understand Caleb has been spotted in some surveillance video. Uh, can you share more with us about what that video entails? Anything concerning in that footage that you saw? In that particular one, that was around 1 a.m. They were outside playing with the dog. You know, and and we we kind of mentioned that they were just outside playing with the dog, having fun, and uh, that was a, a doorbell camera that caught them out at that just right there at the apartments and which one is caleb which in that video uh the white shirt with the, cat the white on. shirt yeah. okay mm -hmm. what about phone pings anything from his phone records uh just uh just 244 uh sending a uh snap to my my daughter and then uh phone went off around 1258 there were some additional at&t ip pings that uh we, we've been really focused on uh, right there at his apartment and then pretty close to his apartment area as well. Mm -hmm. We've been really focused on those because we feel like the phone was possibly there somewhere. Um, but um, at, at this point, we'll probably never find the phone because of the time frame that we're in. Yeah. But we're still, you know, we're still definitely uh, positive. And we have a, a map and a route there going of kind of those last movements with the phone pings. Uh, we've also learned Possibly. that when Caleb disappeared, he wasn't wearing shoes. He didn't have his wallet. Uh, he certainly wouldn't have been able to get very far on his own. Do you think Caleb asked for help from someone? Was he that type of person? Um, we don't know. We really don't know. Um, he is the kind of kid that would help somebody if they needed help. Um, so we, we really don't know. We don't know if he... Uh, came up on something and somebody needed help and we, we just don't know we don't have that direction and, and that's why we're really really uh, begging everybody that has security cameras in, in in and around Corpus Christi and other areas just take five minutes go go back to that uh, 2 30 to 3 30 or 2 30 to 4 o'clock time frame and take a look at your camera and see see if yeah. we can find anything because in today's technology, there's got to be a video out there somewhere. Yeah. Speaking of videos and just asking for other people to please come forward and help, uh, you're using social media to help in the search for finding your son. How exactly are you using that help, and, and what do you want people watching right now to, to know? Um, social media is great. I mean, everything from, you know, obviously Facebook and, and uh, you know, I've, I've posted stuff on some of my business uh, LinkedIn pages. Um, TikTok. Instagram, things like that. Uh, you know, we're just hoping that again, somebody sees something, somebody says something that would lead us to uh, a lead finding. Mm -hmm. Well, we are praying that your family gets answers. Uh, we'll continue to uh, keep a spotlight on Caleb and his story. Randy Harris, thanks once again. We'll check back in with you soon. Please keep us posted.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.